Hello everyone, welcome to my channel with a new server configuration in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. I am Vijay Lohar and in this session we will see how to configure Apache web server in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. Apache is a freely available web server of most Unix, uh, Unix based operating system and Apache is the mostly used web server in the world. We will see here how to configure a uh, basic Apache web server in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.3. Let's proceed to the topic. So, first of all, log into your system. As you can see here, I'm logging with the root user account, and this is the same operating system we are using since installation. And I'm using Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.3 version 64 bit. And before starting anything, let's verify whether the, all the previous configuration is properly configured like host name and IP address. As you can see here, host name is properly configured and even IP address, even IP address is properly configured. It means your interface is properly configured with an IP address and it's working properly and one thing to be sure that we have a proper working DNS server. So let's verify system CTL. I am starting named server. We have configured named server DNS server in our previous video. And we have VS FTPD server for YUM. And we have DHCP DHCPD server for assigning IP address for the client and we even we have SMB server. So for this moment before configuring I am just disabling my SC Linux and uh, firewall settings. So I will use command system CTL stop further you, uh, you can manually assign uh, HTTP service for the client using firewall and SC Linux should be disabled right now. So we will proceed for uh, Apache server configuration now. So what we need to have first, we'll have to install the RPM package and that is HTTPD. So I'm using yum install HTTPD and as you can see here, your package is about to install and it's completed now there is only one package for your basic server uh, web server configuration so you don't have you don't need to install any more package so what we have to do here is we'll have to configure our main configuration file and we'll have to create uh, an index file like uh, a default web page so what next we have to do here is for creating an index file that default web page. So what we will do and where we will create the web page like when we install HTTP package it provides us slash where uh, www and HTML. This is the location of default web page and we will create here vi vim index dot dot HTML. This will be your default web page html yes we will use an html file for as a default web page so let's create our default web page like uh, html close Bold. Welcome to Nux Study Center. This web page should be open after configuring our web server. This is a, a very basic web page I'm creating for 
an example. and save it. I am just creating some basic lines for the index page and now we have created our index file and the next thing we will have to configure our main configuration file and the main configuration file of httpd server or apache server is etc httpd h httpd can see here there is a file with the name conf directory and if you shortlist the directory you can see here there is the httpd dot con file so I'm going to edit this file there is nothing much to edit there httpd dot com in our previous version we have already used this file and modified this file for the server configuration but uh, there is nothing much here for a basic server configuration here you can easily edit it like I am editing this line as the server admin will be root dot root at the rate of nux dot com and all things is by default set here and I'll, I'm, I'm going to define the server name here and the server name will be www.nux.com we have configured our dns server as a nux.com uh, so so there uh, there is nothing to as you can see here uh, there is already defined the root doc, uh, document root location that is where wwstml in that directory we have created our indexed file that is the html file which will be the default web page of our system and nothing much to do here um, save it and what next we have to do here is we'll have to start our httpd service so we'll use command system ctl start httpd and now if you want to verify whether your httpd service is running you can use command httpd t and as you can see here httpd pid number already running it's running right now now if you want to verify whether your name httpd.con file that is the main configuration file is properly configured you can use command apache config test and as you can see here that the syntax is ok so your configuration file is working properly and configured properly as well as your httpd daemon is also working fine so what next we have to do here let's, veri let's verify whether we are accessing our web page or web server by its ip address first of all i will try with the ip address 192.168.20.1 is the ip address of the server and as you can see here we are accessing welcome to nux study center we have created our default web page and we are accessing this web page through the ip address but uh, user will use this server with names so we will have to configure our dns server that is the named server so that user can access your web server using name like www.nux.com so what we have to do here is we'll have to edit forward lookup join file so we will go we have already configured our name server dns server and we just have to add the information of this apache web server in our forward lookup join named and here is your forward lookup join file that is fwnux.com so what i have to do here is i'll have to add a canonical name for www in c name of is the server one it defines that the ww is the alias name of server one so what we have to do now we'll have to restart our name server system ctl restart named and now we'll try to access our web server using 
name instead of IP address. So what we will type here, we will type here www.nux.com and as you can see here, even the www.nux.com is providing us the web page. So how to verify whether the client operating system are accessing. So I'll go to client operating system. We have already installed here and let's verify whether the IP address is configured properly. As you can see here, we are getting reply from server and what we have to do here is uh, this client is accessing IP address from the server as the server is also a DHCP server. So what we have to do here is we will just type here www.nux.com and the web page must be here and here it is. Even the client operating system accessing your web server using names as well as with IP address. You can see here. 20.1 is the IP address of server and here is your server. So guys, that's it for the basics, uh, basic Apache server configuration. Now you can research for the advanced configuration of your Apache server. I will post regarding advanced configuration of Apache server in our later video. If you like this video, please do subscribe and share with your friends and keep watching our channel for the new topics for this time bye bye